Well, hello Viva MK. Thank you for uh, joining me in another live update, whether you're watching now or you're going to be watching um, in the coming days, coming hours. Now that isn't a shameless plug of my own books. I would never do that, of course, as you well and truly know. I'm just reading something called Introducing Chaos. You'd think I could have written that myself um, because chaos is what we kind of sometimes live in and things that happen. Uh, chaos theory is really about how a small insignificant happening can trigger so much else to happen in the world and really it's a tenuous link to what I just wanted to initially talk about you know we get a lot of requests to do things we get a lot of opinions on what we should change in the business you know I'm inundated with messages all of the time every day seven days a week 24 hours a day I get people asking if we can do things and change things now in a business the size of ours that has in excess of 5,000 people who are involved integrally in the business, you can't just make little changes um, because a group of people want them. You always have to think of things globally. And you know, sometimes on the occasions where we've got it wrong, we've made a little change and suddenly the chaos effect takes over and it changes everything because a small, tiny change can make a ripple effect. And that chaos theory is um, kind of inevitable in everything. When you support people, it's inevitable. Do you know the difference it makes when you support an individual to their lives and their well-being? It makes an incredible difference. And that's one thing that we have been doing in this business so prominently supporting people. So the chaos effect revolves around this idea that it, everything has a ripple. So when we make changes, yes, sometimes we make them and they have that ripple effect, but that explains why we can't always just go ahead and change the world because a small group of people think that's what we should do. Now, I will always listen to everything. Please keep communicating. You know my email address, mk at vivamk.com. Keep those doors of communication open. They do mean a lot. And as we are a partnership, I'll always listen. But always, when you make any kind of suggestion, bear in mind, it's got to be a global decision, a global point of view, not just specific to you and maybe your business. Now, we fell foul of that in the past where we would maybe just listen to one leg of the business, rightly or wrongly, that was then and that's the past. But now, everything that I do has to be done globally, no matter what it is. I've got to take into consideration the mass majority of people will never please everybody but if I can make decisions that affect most people positively then we are winning so when you make suggestions that sometimes I don't take them on board it's because I viewed it globally globally we've got to do things that affect the most people just always bear that in mind but keep that communication coming I'm so grateful that you support me personally in that way you know even the people that, that, that um, send me diet plans um, I'm welcome it's all very very welcome no matter what you send me i really appreciate it yes i need to lose weight but please no more diet plans i've had like 37 of them from multiple different companies and i'm working on that but anyway remember a chaos theory a small change makes a ripple effect and it affects things massively so Everything we do has got to be global, but when it comes to supporting people, remember the positive ripple effect it can have for generations. You support somebody, you make them feel good, you help them and you encourage them and you build them and you coach them and you mentor them. You know what? You've literally changed somebody's life. And that's the kind of business we have, that you can literally change somebody's life. Not necessarily because they've gone and made a load of money. Not necessarily because they've won an, a, 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 an award, but because somebody has taken the time and the patience to actually go and support them and listen to them. That is so utterly important in our industry and you guys you do that so well why because i'm the one who gets the communication when people tell me how their lives are affected by this little business of ours 
So, as you know, you know, we started with free registration, free catalogs in order to try and keep your overheads low. I want to keep that going as long as I possibly can because I have noticed that other organizations, and remember, I'm not competitive at all, but other people seem to be. I seem to notice that many organizations have started to adopt some of the things that we were doing, you know, giving out free catalogs to people who need them, giving out, uh, having free registration and so on and so forth. Um, and I get the feeling that we're leading the way. And, you know, for a small business like ours to lead the way globally to bigger organizations is absolutely phenomenal. You know, I'm not competitive, but to get that feeling that people in other organizations are watching what we're doing and then changing their processes is absolutely incredible. I mean, that is breathtaking that we can have that same chaos ripple effect. Remember, a small change making a ripple effect. So not only are we affecting people's lives, we're affecting individuals, we're affecting generations of people, but we're affecting bigger organizations. I can honestly say we are leading the way. We are leading the way because we started from literally nothing and we've come to where we are and we haven't even had six months of business. I look forward to delivering to you six months of results and I do believe they're going to be phenomenal and those results themselves will create that chaos theory where it will have a ripple effect not only in your lives, my life, the organization's lives, but in our competitors' lives, whoever those competitors are. Last week, I mentioned new beginnings, how a business goes through three phases. You go through excitement, you go through the reality, then you have to have a new beginning where you've taken everything you've learned, you've put it into the business and you start to grow again. Now, you know, we're already at that phase and we're doing things to procure that, to make that happen. And one of the first things that will happen to herald that is the new beginnings catalog. Um, still scheduled for late November, early December. I'll give you a very specific date soon. It's more likely to be early December because printing schedules can take quite long and printing isn't as straightforward. You can't just turn up and have it printed overnight. But anyway, I'll give you a very specific date. I mean, the new beginnings, that doesn't really say much but it's basically just a question mark as to what it's going to be. And yes, I'll tell you now, no, it won't be the same cover again. I know we, I've seen a lot of commentary about that, that the new edition, second edition is very much like the first edition. I really wanted to put the 50% extra wipeout on there, but we learned from that. And this cover is going to look very, very, very different. Now, that will be the first heralding of a new beginning. You know, it'll be the first time we've gone to 84 pages. Um, so that's more pages we've ever had in a catalog and it'll be the first time in our short lifespan that we've got in excess of 250 new products and I mean brand new that you possibly haven't seen in our catalogs before so it isn't just a rehash of what we've already got there's going to be 250 new products and as you can imagine that takes a hell of a lot of organizing a lot of investment a lot of control a lot of absolutely everything but that will be the first heralding of our new beginnings um, and that is one principle we're working on very closely, the new beginnings of the business, which will be 2019, but starting off with that first catalogue in just a handful of weeks. Talking of catalogues, I know there's been controversy that the Christmas run and the beauty run have actually run out of catalogues. So currently new starters will only get the second edition. Now, let me just put this into perspective. You know, when we do print runs, we do them sometimes at half a million ago, and so they're, they're big print runs. You know, you can't just turn up at the printers and ask for 2,000 because the costs are phenomenal. And as you know, it is all about costs. I'll be honest with you, what I'm trying to do is keep our costs down to keep your overheads down. You know, it, it, the, the mere fact that I haven't got a full-on service center yet, the mere fact that I can't just go and have 200, 2,000, thousand catalogs printed because the phenomenal uh, print costs and the where, the changing of the plates just cost so much that allows me to keep going with free registration and free catalogs as long as possible because the principle of this year was not just to launch this business but to give you a business that cuts your overheads i was so used to in the past of having l huge overheads in the network where people were making less money 
money than they were spending on running the business, whether they were hub charges, whether they were catalog charges, whatever it was, it was costing you in many cases to run the business more to run the business than you were making. I don't want to be in that situation. So yes, two catalogs have reached the end of the run. All the products are still available. The products are still live. Um, but for a couple of weeks, no, we won't have beauty. The new beauty catalog will be at the beginning of 2019. And like I said in my email the other day, full of new products, full of new colors and a few nice little surprises in there. Um, and think that's going to be a phenomenal launch for next year. Um, the Christmas catalogue really has reached the end of its run. My expertise in retailing tells me that when you come to about the second week of December, catalogue selling of Christmas items generally starts to slow down. That's what I've learned over 18 years at Clean Easy. Um, now, I may, may, may be right for everybody. Remember, a global decision, not a decision to fit just the few. So I made the decision that I wasn't going to get another print run, and I'll stand by that decision because I'm trying to keep all of our overheads low. Um, and that's just where we are. The products are still live. So if you have those catalogs still, of course, it's ideal to keep getting them out as, as much as possible. I won't be doing a new print run. It's just too expensive, not cost effective when you're trying to build a global organization that tries to keep your overheads low. Um, so as I said, new beginnings will be heralded by this new catalog, which I'll communicate fully about, uh, to you. On the 3rd of December is my aim to get tickets live for the new beginnings showcase on the 24th of February, which will bring in everything that we're doing for this new beginning into 2019. Um, February just gives me a chance to get it all together. There's no reason to have it in the first week of January when most people are still recovering from the new year. So I wanted to give us a run in, get th some things tested and then launch it all on the 24th, which I truly believe will be one of the greatest show showcases that we've ever witnessed. Why? Because the excitement that you all have, I just do believe it's going to be like that. Probably one of the best that we've ever, uh, I've ever had, uh, ever hosted. So you saw the recognition yesterday, you know, certain people, there's a lot of people contributing this business in their hundreds and thousands are contributing to the business, but there's some people that are pushing the boats of retail out. Again, you know, with our product offering, um, which isn't in its thousands yet, like I keep telling you, it's not there, but people are still doing considerable retail. So congratulations to all of you that ended up in that top 10 um, yesterday, but there's many more to come. So many other people close to that mark. Um, I really appreciate what everybody is doing in the business. That goes without saying. So, um, talking about building the new strategy. We're working on that every single day. I told you about the meeting that I have had with some of our leaders last week. Again, my principle to them was everything we do has to be for a global effect. You know, this chaos theory that I'm so uh, intrigued by how you can make such a difference with the tiniest of um, changes, tiniest of mistakes. We, we've got to always think globally everything has got to be global. Um, so when you sometimes see a decision, it doesn't feel like it's befitting for you. Well, that's because I've tried to make it befitting for the majority and not everything may be suitable for you personally. So just bear that in mind. So um, in respect of freedom of choice, you know, it's something I've always felt very, very strongly about that you personally, as people should have the freedom of choice. You don't have a boss. The reason you're doing network marketing, whether on its own or aside something else, is because it gives you freedom, freedom of choice to do what you want, when you want, how you want. Therefore, never be told what to do. Um, never give up, never be told what to do. You know, you, you sometimes escape the rat race to be become this self-employed person that has that freedom. Don't let anybody take that away with you. Why am I saying it? The reason I'm going to explain why I'm saying it is everything I say seems to get analyzed. There is always a reason for everything, I'm, even though I'm not quite that chaotic and random. One of the reasons I've been saying it is because I want you to always have that impression in our business. I don't care what other businesses do or what other leaders in other businesses do. I don't give a damn what they do. Um, but what I want to do is to make sure that each individual feels valued, feels like they're a partner, and feels they have the freedom of choice to do the business 
the way they want to. And that's so important. And yes, it has come on the back of some um, troublesome emails that I've had where maybe people have been mistreated in other organizations. Look, th that's up to them. That's up to those organizations. We're not going to be like that. Here you have the freedom of choice. No, we won't always get it right. But one thing we will always put at the forefront is the values of our people. And that is so important. I know they just sound like hollow words, but I hope by now you're seeing some of that happen, that they're not just hollow words that are well and truly mean it to build the organization that I always wanted and to be able to do it with the nice people, the right people at the right time when we have had such a tremendously roller coaster type of year. So freedom of choice is important. Freedom to communicate with me anytime you want to is important. And I apologize, sometimes it takes me a couple of days to return calls and emails, in some cases a couple of weeks, but the, the, the sheer quantity of them is massive, but I'm never gonna say don't do it. You should always, always communicate to me what you want to. Now, as we know, tomorrow is Black Friday, another, uh, adoption from the states that this country seems to have taken on board and as you know these things these um dish soaps are still available at a half price and they are incredibly good they're really selling well um you, you know we um couldn't have thousands of Black Friday deals. We really couldn't. So we just tried to give you what we possibly could. Again, you know, I've talked about margins before. We have to be very careful of those. We have to control the margins to protect the global business, to be able to give you a business that is going to last the test of time. You know, I'm not here to do this for six months. I'm not here to do it for six weeks. I'm not here to do it for a year. I'm here to do this forever, you know, and, and, and that, I want you to always believe is always the intention. We're not just here to fly by night. We're here to build an organization that will last generations, that will be in anywhere we want to take it in time. It, it, it's very important to understand that. You know, so we, yes, we, we, we build locally, we constantly think globally. You know, always bear that in mind. Now, what I'm going to now talk about is some of our products. Now I said to you in the new beginnings, there's going to be 250 new products that you haven't seen in our catalogs before. So as you can imagine, that takes a lot of buying, a lot of control and a lot of construction, but we will get there. And I, I do believe our first 84 page catalog will be a revolution in Viva MK and a mighty, mighty step forward and certainly a taste of things to come. Now you always know, so when there's red wine around, there's going to be a disaster. But not only have I got red wine, which is back to lunchtime drinking, reminds me of last year, but it's this product. Chateau Stain du Pape, what, an, <laughs> what a, an inspired name. So I guess what I should really do is show you how good that product is, which is also a Black Friday special. Now, I don't know about you, but I get the feeling there's disaster in the air and we're about to create some of our own chaos. Even if I have a sniff of this, it kind of gets me intoxicated because I'm that easy. So red wine, as we know, stains. Red wine stains anything it goes on and the whiter the item, the more it's likely to stain. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm drinking red wine, it's not because I'm such a clumsy clot. It's because any time I hold a glass of red wine, I get surrounded by clumsy clots who bump me, who push me, who nudge into me. And you know what happens then? I, I very often wear white shirts. And so what I'm gonna try and demonstrate to you is how good this product is, especially in a season where we're heading, where people are generally drinking red wine, making stains, and of course, causing chaos. Now, this product is reputed to take stains of fresh red wine stains and dried on ones of carpets of fabrics and clothing too so as you can imagine now i won't drink that because i will get instantly drunk as you can imagine you know when you're wearing a pristine white shirt it's very easy to be drinking that and then somebody nudges you and that happens and you know i'm going to you know i'm going to regret this don't you
So there we have a red stain from a, a red wine stain on my pristine white shirt. Now, what you do is you dab it very, very quickly while it's still wet. You dab that stain and then you basically spray that. And what you should see is a gradual disappearance of the stain. Watch this. I think I might, that was cold. Um, so, and then you leave that for a little while and you'll gradually see that red wine stain disappearing. Now, I can't really see that from here, but you should be able to see. Or it does say here, if you have any contact with skin, to wash immediately. Maybe this is not the best demonstration in the world, but at least irrespective of my skin potentially burning underneath, you can see that the actual product works so well. You can gradually see the red um, wine stain, which was fresher, that is really red wine. Yes, it is, and I'm now drunk. That is red wine, and that was the stain, and you can see, if you give it a quick dabbing, it's almost gone, and I can guarantee you that that stain will completely and utterly disappear, and that's off a pristine white cotton shirt. See, and it's completely gone. And normally, I have to throw shirts away because I cannot get red stains out of them now. I wouldn't advise spraying that while you're wearing the garment, but take the garment off if you possibly can, not immediately, but sometimes later, because it will remove dried on stains. So you see, that stain, although is now 30 times bigger than it was before, the actual stain of wine has gone. So my point for telling you that was, is that don't forget we have some incredible products. We have some incredible products in our portfolio and that, in my humble opinion, is one. And I'll need it for the carpet as well, but it is one. So um, that's on offer. That's the Black Friday special. Look that up. It does work. It's got a quirky name, Chateau Stain de Pape, in <laughs> inspired name, and it does actually work. Because you see that red wine stain, I don't know how clear you can see it over, um, over on Facebook, but it has actually gone. I can see from here, it's actually gone. So hopefully you can see that too. So if you drink red wine or you know clumsy clots that drink wine, red wine like I do, whether I'm drinking it or not, I always get covered in red wine. So I'm buying a crate of that because I will need it through this season. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I always appreciate you joining me on these uh, Viva MK live updates. I try and communicate to you as much as possible, not through just live media, but through emails and to communicate with you individually. Um, like I've always said, we don't always get it right, but we bend over backwards to try and get it right. And we will continue to do that. Um, you know, this business is about communication. It's about keeping you informed. I never want any individual to feel that they are in the dark where the business is concerned. You know, I don't want that mushroom theory to be prevalent in anybody's psyche. You know, we are a people business. We are the people business. We are a partnership business and we do things globally. I'll tell you now, I was excited from day one and I really was excited. I was excited when it was just an inkling of an idea I was excited. I've been excited all the way through, but I can categorically tell you now that A, I've removed the red wine stain and B, that we have this new beginnings phase starting and already in progress, as you'll see with the first new beginnings catalog, I can tell you that I'm categorically more excited today than I have been from the beginning. Um, and that's saying something because I've never had such an exciting phase in my life. And as you know, and the people that know me, you know that I am fairly excitable, but I always have good reason to be excitable. And now currently today, as we speak, and when I think about the future and the future strategy, which I'll reveal every ounce of it to you on the 24th of February, going forward into 
to 29 and further, you will see that we have not only a formidable strategy, we are flexible enough to change as we go along. The plan is to change things, to make them better, to improve constantly, and to really give you the business that we've always promised. People are already making money, people will continue to make money, but don't ever forget the ripple effect of supporting people. And let me just put that into perspective. Not just supporting people out there like you do, but the ripple effect of the support you've given me has brought us where we are today. That is what I call typical chaos theory, where one tiny act of kindness and support and encouragement makes all these things happen. See, you don't know that there's people listening now and people involved that said the right things to me months and months and months and months ago that were the foundation of where we are today. That is the power of the chaos theory. Thank you for joining me once again. And I really appreciate everything you're doing. Um, I look forward to sharing dates for the new beginnings with you and uh, have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic weekend. Thank you, everybody. Over and out.